it's Diane and today I wanted to talk to you about um, ways to raise your vibration and I know that there are lots of ways to do this I know that there are lots and lots of um, other things to take into account but I'm just going to talk to you about some of the things that have worked for me and some of the things that I've been um, guided to do by my guides in preparation to connect more so and I'm just kind of going to let it flow I, I was going to write something down and do a list kind of thing but I'm really just going to feel my way through it so one thing number one go out into nature it's not always possible to be out in nature. If you live in a city, I know it's not always easy, but the more you can get outside and find even a park, the, the better it will be. So, um, for example, if you live in a place where it's very built up and you, know, you sort of uh, get up, go to work, come home, go to bed, or do something numbing um, and then go to bed later on, um, it's not always easy to fit it in, but if you find time to do it even once a week, so even to just go to the park, go for a long walk around and around and around it once a week, that, even that, will start to raise your vibration and um, lift you out of all of the concrete and all of the noise and all of the density because we're actually trying to raise the density of the planet not just of ourselves and in doing so we often pick up a lot of heavy energy as we go through the week so if you can find a way to just release some of that just offload it into nature nature can handle it it can go back and it can be transmuted by nature and then just allow yourself to be lifted up again by all of that lovely energy and radiance that comes up from the earth that comes from the trees that comes down through the sunshine and even just from breathing the air so getting out in nature and being aware of yourself again as a body of energy interacting with other kinds of energies that are replenishing that's one great way to raise your vibration. Laughter is the second one that's just popped into my head. Laughter and lightness. So when we talk about things being light-hearted, when we talk about things being light, of staying light, it's not a coincidence that, you know, uh, light-hearted is, is light-hearted and, and that lightness is lightness rather than, you know, you, you, you very rarely feel heavy while you're laughing at something. So it's for a number of reasons. I mean, it does literally break up lower dense energy from your energy field when you're laughing. You lift yourself up into the heart when you're laughing, when you're even smiling, your energy begins to change. Your whole body, your hormones, your whole system begins to change. So laughter is another great one. Have fun. Even if you don't feel like it, force yourself, watch some comedy, talk to someone who's really fun, or just, you know, just remember something funny, write some comedy. But decide to do that no matter what's happening around you and force yourself back up into that frequency. Dancing, dancing is another one. So if you don't feel like laughing, if you can't find anything to laugh at, get your dancing shoes on or just play some music. You don't have to go to a class, play some music and dance around the living room. And there's nothing to say that you can only dance to this sort of music, not that sort of music. You know, you might love spiritual music and spiritual music is very beautiful and very uplifting and that is another way to raise your vibration listening to beautiful high frequency spiritual music by beautiful spiritual composers but also if you want to listen to a dance to salsa and that lifts you up much more than it would lift you up to do five rhythms then do that do what really really works for you because sometimes it's about breaking down old energy patterns that have become entrenched in you. You have to sort of break those off and sometimes you need to do a dance that's very stimulating and quite fast to um, just get those things off you, to get your energy cleared and then it starts to come up, then it starts to rise up. Because quite often when we talk about raising your frequency, we're talking about leaping out of the lower frequencies that, we're, that are surrounding us all the time, aren't we? And uh, clearing them out of our energy field and separating out from them so that we can bring ourselves back up and then bring everything else up and notch with us. Because the more we can come up and stay in that space, the more the people around us, people we love, have to do that. And then the people around them will start to notice something different and this is how we create that effect that you know we work on ourselves we we increase our frequency however and whenever we can and it has a ripple effect so 
Okay, so dancing, singing, oh my God, singing is just amazing for raising your frequency. When you think about what happens to you, to your body when you sing, it's just incredible what it does to your energy as well. You can literally tune yourself up to a higher frequency. Remember, everything's created with vibration. Everything has vibration in it. Everything has a frequency and you have a frequency. So when you sing, you choose your frequency. You can literally tune yourself up to the frequency of your choice. So making music and singing, even if you're not a musician, even if you don't play anything, even if you don't like the sound of your voice, if you don't want anyone to hear your voice, shut the door and, uh, and just sing along to something. You don't have to be a singer. Everyone has a great voice inside them because everyone has greatness inside them and it may not be a voice that sounds you know with our qualitative judgments that sounds great but it will be a great sound because you are great so go somewhere and enjoy that sound and learn to enjoy the sound of your voice and learn to enjoy playing with it and going through all of those different ranges of possibility that we call a song and allow the song and the range of notes to swell and to take you up with them as well. So, um, dancing, singing, playing, being playful, being playful, swimming even, being in water raises your vibration because water is also a very high frequency. It's the frequency of flow. It's the frequency that holds a lot of divine energy. It's, it's a body rather that holds a lot of divine energy. And because so much of our bodies are water and so much water has the capacity to contain so much divine frequency, when we get into a body of water, we immerse ourselves even more with that divine frequency frequency and it can remind us and raise us back up into that sense of water which is divine which contains divine frequency. I hope that's making sense and I'm just kind of giving it to you as I'm feeling it and receiving it. Also drinking more water, drinking water, filtered water, energized water, blessed water. You know, there are lots of different kinds of water that you can drink now that has a better frequency than, than tap water, even if you make it that way yourself, even if you create it that way. So decide, choose the frequency that you want and put that frequency into your water and then drink it, drink it daily. Um, and um, I, did I say something about food? Um, the food that we eat, the quality of vibration in the food will enrich us and um, accordingly. So if we have lots of food that has lots of water in it, we are having uh, food that has more of that divine frequency as well. So that's food in relation to water and the divinity of water. Okay. So I'm sure there are lots more that, that could um, help with that, but these are the things that I've used that have really, really helped me. Fasting has also really, really helped me. Even just cutting down the amount of food that I eat on some days can really, really help to just put you in a different place altogether. Um, because there's quite a low frequency to overindulging and to this need, you know, this need to keep filling and filling and filling ourselves sometimes when we just stop <laughs> stop filling we just make room for something else to come in we just create um, an opening for more divine frequencies to flow in because quite often the food that we eat is not really enriching and nourishing us enough anyway so that's it everyone. So have a great time raising your frequency. If you have any other tips that you'd like to add, please post them under um, the video. Also, I'm just being reminded, okay, thank you. Really, really obvious one. Surround yourselves with pictures of angels, with pictures of spirit, of spiritual things, spiritual ornaments, um, spiritual teachings, wonderful spiritual books, spiritual writings. Um, Read something beautiful that uplifts you into, into that frequency. You know, have, make sure everything around you makes you feel better, lifts you up, reminds you of what you're going for. Have white candles around you. You know, have symbols of purity. Have a water feature if you can. Have beautiful flowers. Oh gosh, thank you spirit. These are the things that I do think of. Um, but all of these things are wonderful. Flowers and fruit and color, the colors that you paint your rooms. All of these things and fragrance, thank you, fragrance. 
um, uh, you know, room, room sprays, um, aromatherapy oils in a burner, all of these things can bring an instant lift, some kinds of incense can as well, opening the windows and allowing the fresh air to come into the room that you're in. And you know, if you can't get out and connect with nature, you can connect with nature in the foods that you eat. So if you find that you really are stuck in a city trap, um, spend a day eating raw natural live foods and allow the frequencies of the food to engage with your frequencies, to talk to you and to remind you of nature. Okay, of a walk in nature by a beautiful lake or stream. Thank you so much for listening and um, if you've liked the video please share it with your friends. Please like, comment and subscribe most importantly and if you would like to receive my daily messages straight to your email inbox please click on the link below the video to go to channelinglove.net to find out how to subscribe to my newsletter and to those daily messages. Alright thanks for listening everyone I hope you enjoyed that and um, have fun. Bye.